Hey, it's December. Let's do a Christmas special. You might remember a few years back, there was an article claiming that the Christmas chord, uh, a chord that made songs sound Christmassy, had been discovered. I, I can't quite recall, but I think this was just a 5, 7, sharp, 9 chord, an alter dominant chord uh, that resolved to a major one. If you're interested more about that, you can search for it. But of course, a lot of people responded saying that it was BS, that chord was everywhere in jazz charts, and that in and of itself, the chord didn't make anything sound Christmassy. You can search for all that too. My purpose today is not to pile on. I have no idea what the situation was, but it wouldn't surprise me if someone had just made an observation, hey, this chord's in a bunch of different Christmas songs, and then something in the media blew it all out of proportion. Again, I don't know. Don't at me. But hey, that's kind of interesting though. Let's assume that nothing sounds Christmassy in a vacuum. That means that making something sound Christmassy or anything elsey is a matter of integrating sounds and melodies, maybe harmonies that evoke other established pieces. So for this Christmas special, I want to go through some of my old videos and see if we can make experimental electronic music sound Christmassy just by adding sleigh bells. All right, thanks for bearing with me. What do you think? Did that work? Should I release a Christmas album? <laughs> <laughs> 